Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. So today we're going to be going over what will happen to the Milky Way in the future. So as you all know the Sun exists in the galaxy called the Milky Way. Or well, hopefully you know that. <laughs> yeah so as you know the Sun exists in the Milky Way so let's get a um, simulation up with the Milky Way in it. So um, whereabouts is it? Um, oh yeah it's called Supernova in Galaxy. So yeah let's go. So if you didn't know the Sun is part of literally billions and billions of stars that are in the galaxy or in a galaxy called the Milky Way so as you can see right here the Sun is supernova and I know but yeah let's um can we remove that actually um supernova can we delete uh, delete supernova okay I don't know what's up with that but yeah as you can see the Sun is just one of these many many little dots in the Milky Way galaxy here and yeah, you may think, oh, the Milky Way is forever. It's never going to be destroyed. What could destroy it? This is the largest thing I know. But if you didn't know, the if you didn't know, I think, yeah, that's it. The universe is constantly expanding. So that means that everything's just spraying off in different directions. And also, if you didn't know, we have a neighboring galaxy called the Andromeda Galaxy. So if we um, quickly load this in, um, let's go for a completely new simulation so if you look carefully so we're currently this background represents that we're inside the Milky Way so that giant galaxy I just showed you we're inside it that's what that ring is in the sky but if you look very very carefully you should be able to spot another galaxy so whereabouts is it <laughs> I can never spot it it's like very very small uh, where is it um, okay there I think that's it there. You can see that is another galaxy. So it may just look like a bunch of stars or a collection of stars, but that is actually another galaxy and it's actually heading towards us. So the Milky Way's black hole, which is Sagittarius A or Sag A or however you want to say it, that is on an impact course with the with the Andromeda galaxy's centre black hole, because obviously if you didn't know, every galaxy also has a black hole in the middle which holds it all together or we think there may be something to do with dark or something to do with dark matter but i won't get into that because yeah i don't really know much about dark matter so yeah this is what's going to happen eventually so as we can see we've got the black hole in the middle of the andromeda galaxy here and then we also have sagittarius a which is the center of the milky way and these black holes are pulling each other together right now so as we are as i am talking right now our galaxy is getting thousands and thousands of light years closer to the um, Andromeda galaxy actually it may not be light years but honestly I don't know if anyone can correct me please leave a comment down below but yeah that's that so at the eventual point both these galaxies will get so close together that they will eventually collide so if we speed this up here this is a very old simulation this has been in the game for ages you've probably seen probably thousands and thousands of videos or well, maybe not thousands but hundreds of videos explaining like the Milky Way and the Andromeda collision but I thought I'd do my own since there were comments saying collide two galaxies and stuff so yeah this is my video on it so yeah that's that so as we can see look at this picture here the Milky Way and the Andromeda galaxy are I've literally just merged together as their two center black holes are probably going to combine or they're just going to become a bi or in a binary black hole orbit or they're just completely throw each other away and destroy the galaxies but yeah, as we can see here, if we speed it up all of these materials all of this mass and all of these stars are all just being slung out because of this collision and as we can see this new there is um a new galaxy form and as you can see all of these particles like all of these just craziness here as you can see it's like they're in circles now if we look here, you can see that I'm, I'm basically this star system here, or this collection of stars, is a, a giant circle. But if we look here, all these circles, some have been slung out, and other ones are actually still orbiting. As we can see, this one is going around the middle here, where the black holes are. So if we go in here, also they have combined. So if we um, go zoom in a lot, lot here, I can't even find it. <laughs> where is it? I can't even zoom in anymore, the game won't let me. Uh, black hole. Can we, can we zoom in? Where is it? It's in there somewhere. But it looks like Sagittarius A doesn't exist anymore. So, both black holes have combined. And now they are making this new galaxy. So, we've got the remains of um, Milky Way and the Andromeda galaxy. So, yeah, there we go. Milky Way and Andromeda are now all one galaxy. So, this will probably be called something like milk Dromeda or milky or something like that. But, yeah, that is what's going to happen eventually because... It's going to take billions and billions of years for this to happen. So it'll probably happen about when the sun is coming to the end of its life. About probably about five billion years when it's already a red giant, it will become um, 
or it will, yeah, it will be a red giant at the time, and then these galaxies, while the sun's all getting older and getting bigger and stuff and destroying our solar system, this spectacular event will be happening in the sky at night. But sadly, none of us will probably be there to see it because um, everyone Earth will or everyone on Earth will probably be dead by then. Um, but we probably will have moved on by then. So yeah, hopefully we'll be able to see this event. So yeah, that is that for this video because. There's not really much I can say about it, like, there's thousands of videos, hundreds of videos on YouTube about this, probably, so, yeah, I won't get too much into detail, because there's not really much you can say, like, the galaxy getting closer together, they're going to merge, they're going to make a new galaxy, which is this right here, and both black holes will combine, or from what the simulation showed me, they will, because there's only one black hole left now, so, yeah, pretty interesting stuff. So this is pretty much the only thing I can do about with galaxies at this point in time because the game hasn't really done much on galaxies yet. Like you can't really do anything with them. Like you can barely change any of the options in here. Like I can't change the gravity, the radius, the mass. I can't change what color it looks like. So I can't really do anything. Like galaxies is like pretty much a work in progress because you've got to remember here that Universe Sandbox is an alpha build. It's alpha 19.7. So yeah, it's not even fully released yet, I believe. So. Yeah, pretty interesting stuff, but hopefully in the future there will be more on Galaxies. Well, there probably will be, but yeah, hopefully that will come in an Alpha 20 update, because that would be awesome. But it seems like they'll be adding a climate developer, as you can see right here. They want to add climates and stuff like that, so that would be pretty cool. But yeah, there we go. So, yeah, guys, don't ask me to do anything with Galaxies, because I literally can't. That I can't do anything. I could try and add one in right now, a third Galaxy, see if that combines, so... Let's just get this one here, like, will that works. It just completely freezes the simulation when I add them in, like, they just, it just messes it all up. Like, I can try and delete the dark matter, although it does start speeding up. Like, we can merge this galaxy inwards, but as you can see, my PC is pretty good usually, but even my PC can't handle this, because three galaxies at once, like, this is crazy stuff. But, yeah, there you go, so a third galaxy is combined now, so we now just have this massive mishmash, almost, or this destroyed just massive globe or ball of just galaxies and all, all, all these particles or sections are all just thrown away from each other. This is part of the Milky Way, this red one, that's an interesting colour. It's the only red part of the Milky Way it looks like. Well anyways, um, that will do it for this video because at this point I'm pretty much just rambling on. So yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video and yeah, if you wanna, oh, if you've got any ideas about galaxies, yeah, don't comment them because <laughs> Yeah, they're not going to work. But if you've got any ideas for any other videos that don't involve galaxies, be my guest. Leave a comment down below. And also, guys, subscribe if you're new because our subscriber count is going up crazy right now. So many, many thanks to everyone who has subscribed. Leave a like, comments. I like seeing comments, remember, because video ideas are always awesome. But, yeah, there we go. So, yeah. Massive, um... Massive mess in the universe now of all these just, just throwing out of, of particles. Look how far away this one is. It would be cool to be in a planet here and just seeing that massive thing in the sky. Like, that is pretty cool. But anyways, that will do it for the video, like I said. So, um, yeah, make sure you guys all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.